Hello guys, Namaste. Welcome back to Android Tricks. This video is about the OnePlus 60 tips and tricks, and I'll get into the video. But before starting this video, I would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes in designing, photography, writing, filming, and much more. I personally have been using this to learn After Effects and you can check out the results by comparing my previous videos to the new ones. I really found it helpful and would highly recommend you to try it out. If you seriously want to learn about something, I would want you to go ahead and grab the 2 month free subscription from the link in the description box below. It's a win-win situation for you guys as the first 2 months are absolutely free and yes it will definitely help out the channel. So go ahead and check the first link in the description box below. With that being said, let's get started. Starting off the first trick, it is how you can change the fingerprint scanner animation on your device. You will be using the fingerprint sensor a lot and it is only wise to keep the animation of your liking. The default one is too fancy for my liking and I am going to change it by going into settings, fingerprint, fingerprint animation. They have given 3 animations by default from which you can choose from. The second tip is to enable the tap to light up option below the fingerprint animation settings. As the fingerprint sensor needs to wake the device up before it can actually scan your fingerprint, you'll have to keep pressing the power button to wake the screen and it is not the wise decision as it may affect the life cycle of your power button. The next trick is how you can use the Google Digital Wellbeing app on your OnePlus device. There are three simple steps that is to install the APK from the link given below, then allow the usage access and then install the Pixel shortcut application to create a shortcut on the home screen. I have made a dedicated video about this topic so I'll link it down below for your reference. One of my favorite trick of OnePlus 60 is that you can press and hold the fingerprint scanner and once the phone unlocks it, it gives you the shortcut to go into the app you want directly. To set this settings or shortcuts, you have to go to settings, utility, quick launch and then select the apps or shortcut you wish to see. Once you set it, you just have to click and hold the scanner after it unlocks your device and you will get those options to select from. The next trick is how you can get the Pixel 3 live wallpapers on your OnePlus device. To get the Google wallpapers on your device, you just have to install two applications given below. Once you install the two applications, press and hold on the home screen and select wallpapers. It will show you all the Pixel and the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 3 wallpapers on your device in the wallpapers section. Just like Google Now screen which Pixel provides, OnePlus also has their own shelf feature which stays on the left side of the screen. It has some nifty shortcuts which you can use but I personally don't like it and I always disable it when I get the OnePlus device. To disable that, press and hold on the home screen, select settings and toggle it off. By default, whenever you install a new application on OnePlus, a shortcut icon for that application gets created on the home screen. You might not bother when it's one or two, but when it becomes a lot, you will want to get rid of it. So to be on the safe side, I highly recommend you to disable the shortcut option from the home settings by long pressing on the home screen and selecting settings. While you are in this setting, let me show you another amazing feature of OnePlus which I wish everyone adopts. That is to change the icon pack and the icon grid without installing the third party launcher. To change the icon pack, just go to the icon pack settings and to change the grid, go to the option below that. Now moving on to the menu, OnePlus has a really cool way of hiding apps. You don't have to go into settings, create second space or any other difficult settings like that. You just have to swipe left on the apps menu and you are good to go. Now someone using OnePlus will definitely be aware of it, but if they have not used OnePlus device earlier, they are never gonna find it. Another feature of OnePlus app drawer is that it allows you to categorize the apps which helps you to find the correct app easily. You just have to enable it from the settings menu. I personally don't like this feature but one of my friends is a huge fan of this feature. So I thought it is only wise to show you the options you have when you buy the OnePlus device. 
OnePlus also has a lot of features packed up in its setting. Let's start with the display settings. OnePlus has the reading mode as well as the night mode. Reading mode turns the display black and white whereas in the night mode it dims the blue light so that your eyes don't strain in the night. You can also configure it to automatically start at a particular time of the day. Inside the display settings you can also hide the notch but honestly you do not want to hide this notch. It's so small that it hardly matters as well as it gives a unique look to your phone. OnePlus 60 also offers a dark mode which honestly has been there since forever. But now when you change the theme, it also changes the color theme of most of the inbuilt apps which is pretty nifty. Also Android officially tweeted that dark theme actually helps you save the battery so it is wise to use the dark mode on your device. OnePlus 60 also has features where you can see the internet speed as well as change the battery icon from circle to rectangular or completely hide it. One thing I always do on OnePlus devices is to enable the battery percentage indicator along with the internet speed on the status bar. Now moving on to the app settings, I want to show you two cool app settings or tricks which I use on all the phones. First is to restrict the notification for apps which sends unnecessary notifications like share it, UC browser and the second is to restrict the internet access for the game so that they cannot show ads even when the internet is turned on. With this setting you won't have to pay for the ad free version of the application because it actually cannot show you ads unless it has the internet access. OnePlus also has tons of options for buttons and gestures. A lot of people are loving the gesture navigation but I personally don't find it good. So I have been using the back button and the home button option and for me this is the best way to navigate. If you want that extra space then you can go ahead and definitely use the gesture navigation. Also if you are super old school you can also go back to the basic navigation buttons. It's really cool to see OnePlus offering all these options unlike the other fruit company. OnePlus also still has all the gestures on the lock screen and in general the three finger swipe down for screenshot is my personal favorite and I also use lock screen gestures but not very often to be honest. It's not something you will use it daily but when you do it's super convenient. Also since there is no way to wake the assistant if you use the gesture based navigation OnePlus gave a feature which you can enable where you just have to press and hold the power button for 0.5 seconds to wake the assistant. So yeah that's pretty much for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check the Skillshare link down below. It's really great application and platform to learn new stuffs. And yeah that's pretty much for this video. See you guys in the next one.